right? Now understand technical analysis deals with the price action of a stock, right? The price action is a sale at a particular point in time, right? Sale at a particular point in time. And you know, we're going above and beyond just the open and close of a stock. We're looking at interday activity, but this particular indicator is basically reading on the close. But sales throughout the day, we call this time and sales. It technical indicator takes the same price action, right? Just listing all these numbers, runs it through mathematical formulas, and then plots the value of of the result of that formula. Right? So as an example, a simple moving average takes X number of previous values and averages the sum. Right? So a 20 period moving average, right, let's say based on the close, takes the last 20 closes and averages the sum of those last 20 closes. The very next day it drops off the oldest one, right? replaces it with the most current one, so it takes the last 20 days, right? Last 20 numbers, previous values, averages, adds them up, right? And averages, and that, and that's your plot. That's 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 basically how it works. Again, that's a simple technical analysis indicator, and there are so many that people can get confused. But what what we're going to get into is a little bit more complex than a simple moving average. And the reality is you don't need to know how they plot. Right? You don't need to know how to draw them as long as you know how to read them. And since there are so many possible settings, we're going to use just one. Our lit fuse indicator is officially known as a Bollinger Band. Now, this was invented by John Bollinger back in the 1980s. He named it after himself. Right? Myself, I couldn't name an indicator after myself because I got a really funny last name. But Mr. Bollinger's got a decent last name, and he was able to name indicator after himself. Right? And, and this is generally where I make a joke, a Bollinger band is not a rock group from the 80s. But anyway, the nice thing about a Bollinger band, there's really only one setting that makes mathematical sense. Right? The simple moving average, I, I showed you, you know, how to calculate a 20 period moving average. But some people use a 10 period, some people use a 50, some people use 100, 200. There's, there's you know, an infinite number of settings you can use. And that's part of what causes the problem. But a Bollinger Band really, 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 really should only have one setting because only one setting makes mathematical sense. That setting is a 20 period look back with two standard deviations. Now we also, we want to set this on the close. 20, 20 period look back, two standard deviations set on the close. And if you have high-end software that allows you to do an offset, don't. Right? We want to keep it simple. Now, statistically, two standard deviations will contain 95% of a data set. Right? A data set is a group of numbers. Uh, the example I tend to use are, are like sixth grade boys. If you have a class at an elementary school and there's um, you know, sixth grade class and all the boys, they're a data set. And you want to measure the height and you want to see what, an, what is an average height boy. Well, I don't know if that's five foot tall or five foot six or whatever. And, and to me, I'm not looking for average. I'm looking for an outlier. I'm looking for someone that's not normal. In, in, in the sense of a stock, we're looking for not normal stock. So you have, back to the, the boys, you can have one classroom is a data set. You can have one grade at a school, might have you know, two, three, four classes of the same grade, that's a bigger data set. You can have a number of schools in a school district, that's a bigger data set still. You can have a number of um, school districts in a city, that's a bigger data set, a number of cities in the state, a bigger data set. And you can have all the sixth grade boys all across the country, that's a data set. Well, we're, you know what, that becomes too big a data set. We're trying to focus on the smallest data set possible, right? And to me, a 20 period look back, if 95% is average, 95% of 20 is 19, right? And therefore, one out of 20 is the outlier, right? For sixth grade boys, that outlier might be too tall of a boy, it might be too short of a boy, but it's a non-average height, right? And, and, and again, 
understand one thing. The Bollinger Band is not trying to tell you um, on a stock whether the stock is too high, right, too tall. It's not telling if it's too low, you know, too short. It's just telling you if it's not average, right? And so it works along the law of large numbers. And, and unlike the height of boys, right, to try and figure out if a tall or a short one, we're talking about a stock here. And how the Bollinger Band works is it will, it should contain, right, the price of a stock over a period of time. We should see, on law of large numbers, 19 closes inside the band, one close outside, that one being an outlier, right? And understand also that if a stock is closed inside its bands for too long, it's due to break out. And so that's what we're looking to do. We're simply looking to count how often a stock is inside the band. And when it's been there for getting close to 19 days, we get excited. And any length after 19 days, we're getting very excited. Right? The longer it closes inside the bands, the more it's due for a, for a move. Right? The more due a move it becomes. And, and also, uh, statistically, uh, a lengthy in time, in time inside the band often leads to large moves outside, right? Large meaning big price moves outside. And a lengthy time inside often leads to a lengthy time outside, right? And, and the nice thing about once it's outside, we don't have to fear it's going to be outside to the upper price range or it's up outside to the lower price range because it's, it's, it will be outside and we might get it to run. Right? Again, on its own, the Bollinger Band will not pick direction. One last point, a Bollinger Band, um, if it breaks out early, it will often mean revert back inside its bands.